Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Day of Chanel's 40th World where... We can can and we can can and can can and can can and we will drop a story. Okay? We're going to be introducing our platform to Chili from the, what is it, one third of TLC's group. Then it was a half with her and T Boss. And now I just guess they perform whenever they feel like it, pretty much. Okay? Uh, they tried to keep the whole thing going uh, after Left Eye passed away, but. It really wasn't the same, and they really weren't open, in my opinion, to getting a, thir a another person to replace or fill in for their missing spot of their um, late predecessor, um, left eye. Okay, so, you know, I, I didn't really see them getting anybody, really, because nobody really could take left out place. Well, you know, then again, on that uh, documentary they did with, uh, or look, movie, sitcom movie, or just a movie they had put out um, on how TLC got started and this, that, and the third, um, what is her name? Mm, I see her name. She's pregnant now. Uh, is it Keys? God, what is that girl's name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Dark skinned girl. Uh, played in a movie with, um, they were trying to get some some animals out. Oh, what was it? Oh, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Y'all knew the new movie she's in. Um, I forget her co star that she was in there with. The guy who was from the um, Get Out movie. You remember he's the star of that movie? Can't think of his name, but they were brother and sister and they was on some type of ranch where they were renting um, horses and films for films and entertainment and stuff of that nature and somehow they had this alien come to the earth and trying to take them up and all that kind of stuff. It was a silly ass movie. Really didn't go anywhere, but that's all I got to say about that. Okay? Uh... But we got Chili here. Chili is seeming like she is doing the darn thing. She's kind of look a little older in that picture. That picture really doesn't do her. Well, not the picture. I'm looking at the picture on my computer screen versus the ones that y'all are seeing. But uh, I think I got that particular picture that TMZ is running on their platform of her. And uh, we knew him as Joey Lawrence uh, in that little show they had, sitcom show, way back when uh, with Joey Lawrence and... and um, Shoot, I can't think of the boy's name, but he, and Matthew Lawrence was in it. <clears throat> there was really brothers at the time, which they really were brothers in real time as well. But anyway, we got the story. TMZ uh, broke it out for us uh, in August or July of last year that they were maybe becoming a couple. But, you know, Chili and him didn't really put too much out there. I'm pretty sure he didn't care one way or the other because him and his wife were separating, getting divorced and all that, and he had moved on. Now, Chili, on the other hand, I don't know. I think she was pretty much messed up when she had that relationship, a long-time relationship with, that may have been maybe four or five years plus in with um, Usher, the entertainer, okay? <clears throat> and, I mean, they were celebrating everything together. They were the couple of the year, pretty much. But it seemed like Usher had other plans. And um, he was much younger, much younger than Shelly at the time. But he really was interested in her. She really wasn't interested in him. And as he grew and he started getting those manly figures, uh, features about himself, uh, Chili wanted another chance. At least that's how I took it. That's just my perspective. It may not have happened that like that at all, but that's what I was getting from it. So, uh, 
if I can tally up their years of their ages now, Usher is 44. He would be uh, 45 in October, October the 14th. Y'all need to write this down if y'all celebrate or want to celebrate their birthdays. Dallas Austin, which was the uh, father of her son, um, Tron or Troy or something like that. I can't remember his name because he ain't really part of this story anyway. I just thought I'd do him in there for extra effect. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Dallas Austin is 52 right now. He'll be 50... Well, no, he's 51. He'll be 52 in December uh, 29th of this year. And Matthew, who we're talking about now, he is currently 51. No, I'm sorry. He's 42. His birthday will be February the 11th and he'll be 43. Uh, then we got Sheila. She's 51 right now. February 27th, she will be 52. So we have a nine-year age difference favoring Sheila being the oldest. And uh, with two of her bows, including Matthew and Usher, she like younger men. And I'm like, does she like younger men because she like to control them? Or she like men that's her age or older that she don't feel like it's going to be a good relationship with because she can't control the situation? I don't know why I feel this woman is controlling. Uh, and she looks for younger men. Uh, but she couldn't hold Usher because Usher got, got, I guess he got caught up in the game and he started remembering things like how women move and he ended up messing over on her then she messing up over him. I think Chili is a nice soul. I, I get that from her, but I, I, she's one of them women that has to have control. She has to have, she has to set the narrative, in other words. And maybe it has a lot to do with how Usher treated her and then publicized their, they're going to say it wasn't about them, but it, that, that, it was about them, okay? Ain't nobody stupid. Ain't nobody of stupid on that confessions uh type of album he had and all that let it burn and all that kind of stuff i'm like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute he should cut you out some some uh residuals should have cut you out some money some checks for making that whole album you still should be making money off of him chile because that was a hot mess but you know maybe he, he cut you something little something to um get the shame off of you or you feeling real bad. Maybe he cut you a check or something for that whole uh, Confessions album he did. If not, girl, please. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, Cheryl Burke is the one that was married to Matthew Lawrence. And um, I, I don't know where, what really happened to their marriage. It didn't seem like they were a happy couple anyway because pictures tell us a lot. I don't care what people say. When you're happy and you're in love and you, you know the other person feels the same about you, it just alludes you know, confidence, and it alludes that y'all are happily married or happily in y'all relationship, uh, da 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 And when y'all having problems, we also see that as well in pictures that, you know, most couples are taped in or filmed in. But, yeah, it seems like uh, maybe their relationship had run its course, Cheryl Burke and um, Matthew Lawrence, and they just said, we'll just get on out of here, you know. It just is what it is. And, you know, let's move on. Let's be happy. And if you can't be happy, uh, 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 if you can't be happy among everything that's going around you that's negative, then, yeah, you need to pull out. You need to put, pull the water out the tub, pull the plug up, and get on and go somewhere. Because you don't need to be making each other ha unhappy. So I think that's pretty much what happened. Their ideas, their uh, reasoning of wanting to be get, be together just didn't add up for them to stay together. So hopefully their divorce was amicably. Uh, a lot of people like to cite irrecyclable differences. Uh, and that's just like, you, you y'all don't want the marriage no more. Y'all don't really hate each other or like each other. Y'all pretty much just indifferent with one another. Y'all really feel like y'all need to be with somebody else or by yourself at the time. But the marriage just had to go. So that's what I get when I look at all three of them together, you know, and she might be a very nice person. It's just, it ran, it ran its course with her being in a relationship with Matthew Lawrence, okay? I don't know if they had any children or anything. Uh, maybe somebody else can put that in the chat. Let me know. I don't really care, but if you want to give me that information, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I get, because even Chili was on these reality shows where it was like fine love and all this kind of stuff and I knew she was uh, partial to the swirl you know she she's not look like she's going to be one of those women that stays in her um, culture of men uh, same culture is what I'm saying uh, same melanated skin 
because she just seems like she loves everybody. And I'm like that way too. You know, you never know who you may find me with. It may not be in my, um, what do you call it, culture. I might be getting a little swirl too. Because you don't never know when you'll find love and where you will find love at. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. He looked like Rudolph the Rain. Oh, reindeer right there. I don't know what he had allergies or somebody popped him in the nose. Chilly, you popped that boy in the nose, girl. Oh, no, girl. He was not, or was he nice? Okay, tell us, tell us, girl. We want to know. But anyway, uh, so it, it kind of gives you a, 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 a way to look at her new relationship with uh, Matthew Lawrence. You know, he is nine years, uh, she's nine years ahead of him. So that means he has a lot to catch up on if Cheryl Burke didn't teach him a thing or two about women, or he didn't learn a, two, a thing or two about women prior to his marriage to Cheryl Burke. But like I said, uh, to me, it may be something, but I just don't see her staying with him unless he's going to be submissive to her. So uh, that's just my thoughts. I just thought I'd put that in there. But now let's give us, see what TMZ is giving us since they broke the story in August of last year saying some sparks may be flying with these two. But never, nothing ever came of it. Uh, they probably pretty much was on the market because, you know, TMZ have paparazzi in Atlanta day, night, and everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They be everywhere. They be catching them stories. And sometimes your own friends turn you in. They drop the uh, news media outlets, T. Um, what's coming, what's transpiring, and stuff of that nature. So you got to watch your friends who you run around with or your associates because sometimes they can be dropping tea on you before you even want the tea out on yourself, you know, for you to write your own narrative that's put out there. But, yeah, she's supposed to be loving on this young man right now. Uh, from what TMZ is reporting, they're saying, TLC's chili, I'm off the market dating Matthew Lawrence. Okay, sounds like TLC Chili would have a partner when she gets when she goes chasing those waterfowls because we're told she officially is dating Boy Meets World star Matthew Lawrence. A rep for Chili tells TMZ she and Matthew are in an exclusive relationship moving past the friend phase just before Thanksgiving. Okay, we're told the two spent Turkey Day and Christmas together in Atlanta, <clears throat> where Matthew met Chili's family. Uh, the couple went on Instagram officially a couple of days ago, dancing to Take On Me while wearing matching pajamas, total relationship goals. Now, my thing is, was it the dick? Was it the dick, Chili, that wants you to move that wanted you to move forward with this man, was he really serving you up in bed? Because some women, it ain't me now, but some women, they like a certain size, they like a certain girth of the dick. And that can just drive them crazy and want them to be in a forever lasting relationship. Now, that was me. That was me when I got married to my daughter's, um, um, what well, her, her dad, okay? My ex-husband. Yeah, it was all about that for me. <clears throat> I guess that's why our marriage didn't last, you know. When bills, we, you know, no no romance about finance came on board. And I love when the new management started to take form and shape. But man, had to go, okay? But that's just me. That's my troubles. That's my woes. That's my past. Don't judge me, okay? But anyway, um, it's saying they're beaching it. You remember we saw the article on TMZ when they were expressing that they may have some exclusive news to report, but they couldn't really say, say, you know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to get chased with no lawsuit and no litigations going on for some false commentary they were putting out. So they've gotten better with that. Uh, but, you know, they reported them on Waikiki Beach in August, getting in the water together and sharing some intense combos, according to the beach goers. I ain't going to say Chilla didn't have her own money, but Chilla likes spending other people's money from just looking at her and her past. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he winded and dined her and took her out to uh, Waikiki and they had a very nice time. She got a chance to size him up bank-wise and... Then the personality wise had to come, and then she probably saw herself really in a relationship with him. But those two things had to happen, I believe, uh, first before she would think about getting with this man. Because she, you know, like I said, I think she really was hurt because her and Usher had spent so much time together. They had uh, really were the couple of the uh, year century for me because I saw real love there on Chili's part. 
Usher, I can kind of see some, but it seemed like he was holding something back as well. Like, you know, she didn't want me when I wanted her. Now she want me because I'm, you know, got all this fame and little fortune here and this, that, and third. And <clears throat> I think he got his just too bad when he married. Oh, uh, shit, I can't think of the lady name. <clears throat> Older lady he was messing with. <clears throat> she was a stylist, hairdresser, or something. She was all in one for Usher. And, uh, he ended up having, I think, two kids by her, or one kid. <clears throat> but <clears throat> don't quote me on it. I didn't do my research, so I'm just flying, you know, off of memory here. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, he, that relationship didn't last too much longer. Then he got another relationship. Then he got another relationship after that. And then, you know, the whole thing about him having some kind of, you know, illness and this, that, and the third. And he was just spreading around like it wasn't nobody business and Oh, just a whole ordeal. We ain't going to uh, hash that back up because it's, it's in the past. It's in the past. Uh, <clears throat> I was trying to make a connection with it, but I don't know if it flied and flew and probably landed flat. <laughs> okay. But anyway, <clears throat> then we got, you know, it's uh, back to the article with TMZ. It says, despite signs pointing to a love connection, we were told at the time they weren't dating. TLC had a show on the island and Matthew and his pal simply came to watch linking up later okay maybe that might be true maybe that might be true uh you know tmc tlc the half a group now they pretty much go where the money takes them you know what i'm saying so i understand it maybe it was a concert or it could have been somebody's birthday party or whatever as long as they had the funds check clear they was gucci you know what i'm saying so they went and um get a little thing over there uh for the waikiki people uh, culture over there, you know what I'm saying? Anybody else that wanted to join in? Uh, <clears throat> but it's it's true, just like TMZ had reported in their article, Shelly clearly don't want no squirrels because she got Matthew. And Matthew, he probably invested well. You never know. You never know. Like I said, it could have been an amical divorce between him and Cheryl Burke. <clears throat> and uh, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm, trust me, Shelly was on this dating show. So she had to know everything about the person's past. She had to know about the person's family members. She had to know about the person's uh, behaviors, uh, good and bad. She had to know uh, how the person was looking financial. She had to understand the religion she would be embarking on. There's a lot of pros and cons. She had to check off her little box when she was on the stage show. But I think she just wanted money. Because some of them white guys and them country dudes were really loving her. I think it would have took good care of her, but she's like, mm, I don't want this, I don't want that, you know, and I think they were older than her, too, so the ones that really could have set her up, um, I guess she wasn't ready for, because it was one show I saw she was dating, I, I kind of liked it, two of the white fellas, uh, one was in, had a farm, and the other one had a corporation, so I, I think she would be scared of, uh, just being taken over, and being told what to do, that's just me. Okay, that's not that's what I feel, you know. <clears throat> I stand on it ten toes down, two hands and two feet. Um I don't know, it's just see what it is. Okay. But uh yeah, I think Usher really, really hurt her. <clears throat> I really, really think so. And she's just been in a tailspin going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. But uh <laughs> I tell you the truth. Um uh, Miss Chilly is on the swirl. And I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being on the swirl after a black man, a melanated man, did you wrong. You know, if you've been in a relationship with your culture for years and years and years, <coughs> and you tend to be constantly getting dogged out by them, <coughs> it may not be them sometimes, it may be you. I'm just throwing that out there, you know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm a little under the weather. <sighs> but we must go on anyway, right? So don't judge me. Don't come, come in the comments and say, you know, little things of that nature. to upset me because you might get blocked. You might just get blocked now because I don't told you. <clears throat> I'm under the weather. Got a little head cold thing going on. <clears throat> and it just is what it is, okay? But, um, yeah. What do y'all think about chili? Uh, doing the swirl thing now. And that was Dallas Austin, of course, and her son she had with them. And, you know, he, he was like, he a strong black man. He a strong black man. And don't say like he take much shit from women or anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, he was a force to be reckoned with. Chili could have did here and there with Usher. 
But, you know, like I said, Usher had plenty of women to go around to see how they move. And he probably learned a little thing or two. Just a little thing or two. Okay. But uh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. He wasn't playing with her. He knew what he wanted. And maybe she didn't know what she wanted when she got with him. You know what I'm saying? He knew he had a little tender on it. And he did her however he did her. And she followed suit until he, I guess he didn't want to marry her. And maybe uh, she was at the point where she wanted to get married. And he was at the point where he was like, uh-uh, no, I can't do it. I can't go for that right now. I can't go for that. I'm a music producer. I'm, I'm trying to do things. I'm trying to climb the ladder into building my business and music and the music industry. I mean, you already got the baby by me. What else you want? And I think he pretty much didn't care for a long, long relationship with her because there might have been some different factors being involved that we didn't know or evolving that we didn't know about. And he wasn't going to tell us about it and she wasn't going to tell us about it. So it just was one of those things where we're better off friends and co-parenting than we are together. And if anybody can understand that, which anybody should, it's almost like, mm, no, we can't do this. We, we can't do that thing that you want to do because there's some things that you do that I don't like. And I'm not even asking you to change your ways. I just got to get out. I got to see for myself. I want you to succeed. That's why I'm going to step out your way and you find the man that you need to find. That's something I think Dallas Austin pretty much told her. You know what I'm saying? I could be way up and more, but this is my opinion. This is how I'm viewing it. And y'all can have y'all opinion. Y'all view it however y'all want to do it. But, you know, when you don't live a certain lifetime and you're more so in the latter uh, years of a decade, you know, fool can be a fool all day long. But most of the time, we as human beings strive to be better people. So we go through a lot of different things. We experience a lot of different things. And then we take that on in our future to set the tone of what we're going to deal with and what we ain't going to deal with. What we're going to deal with and what we ain't going to deal with. I Meaning we don't sat and evaluated ourselves for some time. And we already know this type of behavior we ain't going to put up with. You know what I'm saying? It's, you could do bad all by yourself and you'll get people to help you. But you being bad with someone, uh -uh. no, there's no no, no love there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to love on this person, then you love on them. But I'm not going to help you out. I'm not going to listen to your stories because we already told you about this guy. He ain't for you. He still want to do what he want to do. He still want to play the field, but you still want to love on him. Okay. And that's pretty much probably what happened with her and Usher's relationship. She thought, well, you know, he ain't young acting no more. He's, you know, looking very good to me. And I'm going to shoot my shot. That he wanted you to shoot your shot when he was liking you. Because, you know, you got men. Some men be petty, too. They be remembering shit. And then they be like, she treated me this kind of way. She treated me that kind of way. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get in that. See, Usher just gives me that type. But I don't know why I just see um, <laughs> Matthew is going to be slow. Uh, lambs to the slaughter, slaughter to the lambs, meaning uh, she's going to run all over this guy. <laughs> she's going to run all over him because he just got a baby face. He just got a baby face, y'all. It seemed like he would give Chili anything she wanted, and it still wouldn't be enough. So I don't know, Matthew. I don't, I don't know, honey. You better watch out for Chili because I like Chili, but Chili, you know, Chili seemed kind of uh, bossy, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to other people. Not to herself and not definitely towards her son. But, hmm, I don't know. I don't, that's probably why uh, his son ain't probably got no girlfriend. Because we ain't heard nothing about her. He might like to be, not be so much in the press. Like, she'd like to be in here and there sometimes. But, um, I wish them well. <laughs> I really do wish them well. In their endeavors of being with one another. Because... Everybody deserves to be loved by someone that genuinely, genuinely loves them. Not because of certain circumstances and what you can provide for or do for them. But I think Matthew, uh, from his previous divorce and marriage and all that comes and goings, he needs somebody to love on too. So hopefully it's not a rebound thing for him. And it's not like a come up for her. And it's just truly, genuinely loving one another and want to see where it goes. Now, that would be, you know, my cup of tea to uh, leave my last perspective on. If the relationship is built on trust, honesty, then that's a good thing. But if not, whew, 
Ooh, I tell you, things just don't need, things just don't need to be where they need to be. That's all I say. That's all I ain't got no more. Uh, y'all get down in the um, uh, what do you call it? Y'all get down in the comment section. Tell me what y'all thought about it, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye bye.